You've heard the old fable, the tortoise and the hare. Well, how about the tortoise and the kitten? It didn't take very much time at all before they really were communicating nose to nose. Herman's a young five-year-old tortoise, an old soul who likes his avocado and laying by the pool. He might be small, but he's tough. <laughs> yeah, he has a small man syndrome. Stewie's an energetic kitten who likes to explore. Overly curious and full of trouble. Yeah, he'll bounce around Herman. Like if Herman's walking, Stewie will bounce around him and, and play, and Herman doesn't really care. The reptile and feline. They roam freely in their Colwood home with their adoring mother, Marlene, and a few other friends. Well, I've got one, two, three lizards, four frogs, one cat, one tortoise. Um, got a stingray in the tank back here, a um, couple of polyptus, which are really cool, and um, has some guppies. <laughs> they all get along fine, but Marlene says Stewie and Herman's relationship is special. They just sort of hang out. But what about Stewie's predatory instincts? I'm more worried about the cat. <laughs> when Stewie gets on Herman's nerves, like the older sibling, the cold-blooded reptile sends a message. Marlene's owned exotic pets for years, so how does she explain this unlikely friendship? It's, I have no idea. But how can two animals so different in nature possibly live side by side in harmony? There's got to be a scientific explanation. Yeah, there you go. Dr. Bredner is a veterinarian with extensive experience in animal behavior. She says, intentional or not, Herman is Stewie's role model. Stewie is now investigating his world and learning about how cat or how he can ex interact with things in his environment, and so he's developing this friendship. And the tortoise is very happy to uh, be with him, and yet if he feels threatened, he can just whoop inside his shell and not be harmed. So they ha can evolve together with this really great friendship. Basic companionship. So simple, yet profound. In a world where human beings divide themselves on politics, race, religion, sexual orientation, perhaps we can learn a thing or two from a tortoise and a cat. Oh, well, it's acceptance. It's, it's pure. It's like, we can all learn a lesson from that. Yeah. <laughs> In Colwood, I'm Kevin Chirac.